Hello everyone, also hi to the ladies, I hope you're all doing well. I had washed my hair earlier, I'm just dampening it with water. This is Moisturizing Leave-In Conditioner by Cantu. It doesn't leave the hair oily like regular moisturizers would. Access oil makes it challenging to mold the hair, so you don't have to worry about that with this. Based on my usage of these products, I've realized that these two work best together. This gel is by Soft and Free and it works best on its own. Sectioning my hair out for my edges, this is an option. After that, I sectioned my hair and applied the Soft and Free gel. I tried working in sections. It does make the process easier when you're still learning how to style your hair. And if you have a thick or fuller head of hair, working in sections will help. This tutorial has a lot of elements to it, so I did speed it up a bit because it was going to be longer than it already is. So after that I joined the parts together and I did the same at the back. I noticed that Spa also sells nail brushes, I'll leave links to all the products used in my description box. I did use my wax. You don't need it when using the soft and free gel. I'm honestly just addicted to it. I used my nail brush to evenly spread the product and to smooth my hair. After that, I went in with more gel and retied my hair. For my edges I used wax and isoplast hair gel, you can use an edge control of your choice. The wax retails for 50 rand at Cosmetic Connection, not more than 60 rand and the gel retails for 20 rand also at Cosmetic Connection and ShopRite.
Once done with everything, I went in with the Soften Free Hair Gel. If you have used this wax, the gel must always be the last product that you apply. I allow my hair to set overnight. Always wear a silk or a silk-like scarf at the base. I had a few white patches because of the wax. I went in with oil sheen to counteract those. This pack was 175. I usually buy the 121, but they didn't have that one. This one is a bit longer. I'm using older bundles. I always reuse my hair if it's still in good condition. The nail art and the hair donut were both 20 rand. The glue is from Clicks. I've had it for over two years. Clicks and Discam both sell it. I wrap the hair from the top to the base. I used about four to five short wefts. Just make sure the hair is evenly spread to cover the bun. I purchased the hair donut at a local beauty supply store for 20 rand, but I did search for it online and found that Clicks, Discam, and Take A Lot all sell it. Take A Lot sells it for 100 rand, insane. Discam and Clicks both sell it for 30 something rand, about 40 rand. So you can check those retailers out as well. I didn't like how bulky it was, so I cut it. If you can, try using shorter bundles to avoid cutting the hair. The holding spray will help tame the hair and to keep it in place. You can use any holding spray. All you do is twist as you go around and just adjust your bun. Super easy. These bobby pins retail for 7 Rand at Cosmetic Connection. Just try avoiding having a bump like that when placing the rubber band. So this is how the nail art looks. It's pearl-like. I used a bobby pin to place the glue on my hair. After that, I placed the pearl over it to help keep it in position. The bigger ones have a flat base and the smaller ones are all round.
I just felt like concealing this area with this strand for a more polished look. This is optional. After that, I added pearls onto it. I actually wish I didn't. And that's about it. You can add more pearls if you want to. I just didn't want to go overboard. This is beautiful, easy, and affordable. You can wear it as an everyday hairstyle without the pearls, or you can wear it as a wedding hairstyle, but I feel like as a wedding hairstyle, it will be nicer if the bun is bigger, but that's up to you. Thank you so much for watching and returning. I'll see you on my next one. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.